Good evening, children. Welcome back to one more session of mathematics. Today we'll see the new chapter from the paper two. Okay, fine. Whatever we don't have in paper one or paper two, but according to that paper two, that is ninth chapter, tangents and secant to a circle. Tangents and secants to a circle. <coughs> the last class we completed the mensuration, right? Yeah. <coughs> Tangents and secants. What is tangent and secant? <laughs> Let me see. Here, a circle. Around the fixed point, let us take this is the O. One of the layer, C, passes passes just touching the circle. This where this line touches called point of contact. Where the line touches on the circle, this point, this point called point of contact, and this line is called tangent. Tangent. The tangent of a line just touches the circle. One of the line will touches, suppose any circle, then that is called tangent. And where it touches. Where it touches that point is called point of contact. And one more line, if you go, this is called secant. The line passes from the two points of a circle. Two points. This is a one point, and this is two points to a circle is called secant of a circle. Secant. This is called secant, and it touches at a two point, and this will touch us at a one point. Called so called, this is tangent, and this is secant. Tangent to a circle or secant to a circle, we can call. So this line, and since we know what is this radius, radius, we are certain radius, and this is called passes. From the center of the circle, the line is passes from the center of the circle is diameter. We are some diameter passes from the center of a circle diameter. Okay, and this is curved. This is called curved. Curved of a circle. Curved. C H O R D. C H O R D. Curved. Curve, diameter, radius, secant, tangent. And uh, see, for a circle, for this circle, take anywhere outside of the point. Outside of a circle. If you will take any point outside of a circle, you can draw from the outside of a circle. You can draw only two tangents. You can draw only two tangents from the external point. From the external point, and the two tangents will absolutely you will get the lengths are equal. You will get the lengths are absolutely equal. From external point, from anywhere, not only here. See, you can draw two tangents. You can draw only two tangents, and the two tangents lengths will be absolutely equal from the same point, from the same external point. For the given circle, you can draw unlimited of tangents. You can draw unlimited of tangents. You can draw. From the circle, but from external point, 
you can draw only two that is the difference that is the difference external point you can draw two and the two tangents absolutely it will be lengths are absolutely equal and to this particular circle you can draw unlimited of tangents you can draw unlimited of secants you can draw no other than passing from the center of a circle called secant obviously it will touch a center two points a line is passing from the two points of a circle is called secant of a circle a line is passing from only at one point is called tangent of a circle and that point is called point of contact okay children so tangents you can unlimited you can draw secants you can draw unlimited from the external point you can draw the only two one pair of tangents or two point two tangents and the two tangent lengths will be absolutely equal so this is a small introduction about uh, the tangents and secants and this is uh, this is introduced mr uh, uh, archimedes archimedes introduced here the uh, this tangents and uh, secants main he is uh, from greek mathematician is a from a greek mathematician the past 287 bc he was born 287 bc he was born till 212 before christ he was born mr archimedes he developed the the great greek mathematician mr archimedes uh, is a very uh, talented in giving the curves to prove of these all main circles here 287 to 212 bc you have to write like that 287 from the 2024 plus 287 that means you will get here 2090 something you will get 13 plus 7 2113 2107 years back mr archimedes was born so he developed everything he is a uh, new significance he developed the main from the circles main from the circles let me see here what the questions we'll see in the main construction part you can see in this chapter yes children to see the construct we can see main the construction part the most important constructions are there and before going to do this we will see some problems from the exercise 1 so here so here one of the circle one of the uh, a circle that is from the from the external point from the external point let us take p the length is 13 cm and the radius and the radius 5 cm then what is the length of the tangent he is asking this is for tangent and the most important and before i said uh, before uh, maybe uh, i did not say so that is the radius and the tangent the inclination is perpendicular remember the angle between the radius and tangent is right angle remember this is one of the theorem from that 9.1 theorem this is 9.1 theorem what the angle between the radius and tangent the angle between the radius and tangent is right angle the triangle is right angle triangle so here it is right angle triangle and the op 
peak. Let us take this is the A point is X one point is P. Yes, you can see this is a see right angle triangle. This is the shape of a right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle by Pythagoras, you can prove that. Is it not? You can find this length. See, we don't have here the angle, right? We don't have here angle. If angle we know, we can go with the trigonometry. So very easy, right? Now here uh, given. So what is here given? O A P is right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. So, if it is a right angle triangle, nothing but OA is equal to five centimeters and OB is equal to thirteen centimeters. So, by Pythagoras, by Pythagoras theorem, what is Pythagoras theorem says that that is hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse is what OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square formula. Hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square, or adjacent square plus opposite square. You can go with whatever you want. You can go with whatever. So, OP square is equal to OA square plus AB square. Just substitute the value of this one. OP is nothing but here thirteen whole square, and OA is nothing but five whole square plus AB square. So, thirteen square is nothing but one sixty nine. Minus five square is nothing but twenty five. That is equal to a p square. Subtract it. What you get now? One sixty nine minus twenty five. One forty four. I hope. One forty four. That is a p square is equal to one forty four. Then a p is equal to what? Root of one forty four. The root one forty four is twelve into twelve. Root one forty four is twelve into twelve. So hence, hence length of the tangent, length of a tangent, length of a tangent is equal to twelve centimeters. Twelve centimeters. Simple. Here a b length we have to find. A b is nothing but tangent to a circle. Tangent to a circle. So that hence length of the length of a tangent is. Per centimeter, if you know from the external point from the center of a circle is thirteen, the other is five. So same like that, one more also here is there. You can do that one as. So very easy by doing of Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That is the definition of Pythagoras. The square of a hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides is the formula. So hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square. Just substitute the values of that one, and you got it here that the AP is equal to twelve, which is directly tangent. That is a tangent. AP is an upper bar tangent to a this side tangent to this side, and even A also is called what point of contact. Point of contact where it intersects like a point of contact that is. So that's here one of the problem, and I will go with the one more. So see that more. So he is asking to draw here one of the circle is there from the external from the external line. Can you draw the tangent and secant with the parallel? Is asking the question. Here, one of the circle is there here, and also external. In the externally, one layer is drawn like this. Can you draw with this line, with the help of this line, tangent and secant? Yes, we can draw. See here, this is a tangent, which is which is parallel to the to this line. Parallel, and also you can draw secant. This is secant. Yes, we can draw to this line. One is secant, the other is tangent, which are in parallel, which are in parallel. Okay, children. So like this, you can do the tangents and the secants are very easy. We we'll see one more here.
can you prove here can you prove here two tangents passes from the diameter see here two tangents these are the two tangents passing from the center o let us take ab is a diameter the question is once again prove that the tangent to a circle of the end points of a diameter are parallel end points of a diameter diameter let us take ab is the diameter and these are the end points right a is the end point b is the end point and let us take this so l and m are the tangents to this circle tangent so show that L and M are parallel. He is asking the question when the two end points, when the two end points are passing, passing here, then L is parallel to M. You have to show L is parallel to M when the two tangents are passing from two end points, uh, end points of a diameter. This is the diameter. This is the diameter AB. So let me prove. Simple here. See here. Since we know that. Since we know that the radius, let us take here. O A is the radius, and the L is a tangent. So the angle between the the angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degrees. Yes, the angle between the tangent and the radius is right angle. So here this is the right angle, and this is the right angle. Nothing but angle A is a 90 degrees, and the angle B also 90 degrees of one side. Of one side, you can take whatever the side both are, because this is a line. It is a straight line. Nothing but the angle between the straight line is 180 degrees. Supplement. Okay. If this is 90, 90. See here, angle A plus angle B. If you will do 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So the statement is the statement is if the sum of the two angles of one one side of a transversal or whatever it is diameter once again sum of the two angles sum of the two angles of one side of a line is supplementary then the L and the M are called parallel lines L and the M are called parallel. If this is 90 degrees and this is also 90, one side of the transversal. Let us take AB is a transversal. AB is a transversal. AB is a line. Transversal from from the line L to M. One of the transpose. It is traveling one side. If the sum of the two angles of one side of a transversal is supplementary, then these two coplanar lines are called parallel. Then these two coplanar lines are called parallel. So that is a nothing but L and M are parallel. Because what? Some of the two interior angles, some of the two interior angles, and one side of a transversal, one side of a diameter. Otherwise, one side of a diameter is supplementary. Then angle A, then then the L and M are parallel. L and M lines are parallel. So one side, either left side or right side. Or whatever. This is also 90 plus 90, 180. So he is calculate. Huh? Sorry, prove that tangent to a circle, the end points of a diameter are parallel. End points of diameter are parallel. So these are the end points of a diameter. Real end is not parallel because 90 plus 90 is so 180 supplementary. So you can do that. Then you can prove that. So same like that here. The theorems are there here. The theorems are there. Nine point one, nine point two. What is the nine point one theorem here? Simple. The uh, shortest length, the shortest length from the center, and this is for let us take O, and uh, A is a point of contact, and A, uh, P, P A is a tangent. So, what is the shortest side? He is asking. Which side is the shortest one? When uh, wherever the it. Uh, Intersects at perpendicular. So this is a perpendicular. This is a perpendicular at 90 degrees. So OA is the shortest side because wherever you can see on the on this tangent, the line is obviously greater than OA. So OP is greater than OA. If you take here OQ, OQ is greater than OA. If you take here OR, OR is a 
greater than or all are greater than because it is a more than the radius this is a more than the radius you will get exact other than at a other than at a all are more than radius you will get so what is the shortest side the shortest side is only the oa which is radius so which is perpendicular so a is always it is less than the whatever the other because it is more than the radius you can see okay children and uh, already i said that from the external point you can draw the two tangents and the lengths are absolutely equal and the lengths are absolutely equal that is also one of the theorem and here uh, we'll say we'll go with one more here one of the most important uh, uh, proof the proof is here <coughs> okay let us uh, okay right we'll see the proof that is prove that prove that prove that the parallelogram is circumscribed is circular is a rhombus parallelogram circumscribed here See, parallelogram is circumscribing with the. This is the parallelogram. Parallelogram A B C D is a parallelogram, and this is P Q R S R point of contact. P Q R S. Yes. Then show that this is a parallelogram circumscribed of a circle. Then it is a rhombus. Is we have to prove that the quadrilateral is rhombus. The quadrilateral is rhombus. We have to prove here. So, what he given? Simple. So very important uh, two marks question. This is prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Parallelogram is there if you draw one circle inside. Then it is a rhombus. He said, "Let me prove this one." So here, what he given? Then what he given? Given uh, uh, A B C D is a parallelogram. A B C D is a parallelogram. And what about the P Q R S? P Q R and S are the point of Point of contact of tangents. Ah, uh, point of contact of tangents. What? A B. Ah, uh, B C, C D, and A D or D A. Point of contact. Uh, sorry. Point of contact of tangents. A B, B C, C D, and A D of parallelogram. Ah. Uh, Parallelogram. Understand, children? Here, A B C D is a parallelogram. P Q R S are the point of contact at the A B tangents. B C also tangent. This is also tangent, which is passing from the point of contact called tangents. Already I said that what from the external point the two tangents are equal, right? So here, what is it? C. Here A B is a one of the Let us take AP. AP is equal to what? This is one of the tangents. The other is AS is a tangent. So AP is equal to AS. Nothing but AP is equal to AS. PB is equal to PB is equal to BQ. PB is equal to BQ because from the external point two tangents are equal. These two tangents are equal. These two tangents are equal. These two tangents are equal, and uh, these two tangents are equal. So AP is equal to AS, and uh, PP is equal to or BP is equal. To, you can write whatever here you are wish. BP is equal to BQ. Next, ah, uh, DR is equal to DR is equal to DS, and uh, CR is equal to CQ. CR is equal to CQ. So these are all. Let us take this is the first equation, second equation, third equation, and the fourth equation. So on adding, on 
adding 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We get. Is it clear that? 1 on adding 1, 2, 3, 4. What we will get? Let us see. AP plus BP plus DR plus CR is equal to all LH sites I added. RG sites also added here. AS plus DS plus BQ plus CQ. CQ, is it? Okay. Now, <coughs> here I added these all. AS, DS, I written at one place because SS is there. SS is there. BQ, CQ, QQ is it. So I written like this because you can take these two as one braces, these two as one braces, RR is one braces, PP is one braces. So AP plus BP, AP plus BP, you can write totally as AP. So AP. AP plus BP, you can write as AB. So same like that, DR plus CR, DR plus CR, you can write the CD. Once again, DR plus CR, you can write here, what? CD. And that is equal to AS plus DS. AS plus DS, you can write as DA or AD. And one more, BQ plus CQ. BQ plus CQ, you can write as BC. You can write as BC. In the given first tense, ABCD is a parallelogram. In parallelogram, what is the property? What is the main law we will give? The very first property, principle, opposite sides are equal in parallelogram. So since, since, in parallelogram, in parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, right? That is nothing but AB is equal to CD and, and AD is equal to BC. This is, we know already because that is a parallelogram. That is given question. Now, what happens in the place of CD? In the place of CD, you can replace AB. So, AB plus AB, you can write. The place of CD, I written AB because CD is equal to AB. No, opposite sides are equal. Yes? So, AB plus AB is equal to, and here, the place of uh, AD, I am writing BC because BC plus AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. You can write whatever it is. Uh, you can take here BC plus BC. Otherwise, AD plus AD also, you can write. No issues. So, okay, I took here BC. So, in the place of AD, I written BC. So, BC plus BC. AB plus AB, how much? 2AB. BC plus BC, how much? 2BC. 2 to get cancelled. And you got it, that is, AB is equal to BC. See here, AB is equal to BC. But already, AB is equal to CD, no? Already, AB is equal to CD. Here, written. AB is equal to CD. And also, what you got it? AB is equal to BC. So these three are equal. Indirectly, these two are also equal. Opposite angles are equal. Sorry, opposite sides are equal. So all the four sides are equal indirectly. Therefore, therefore, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. This is possibility in square and rhombus. But since this is parallelogram, so it, it turns to only rhombus. So AB, BC, CD and DA. All the sides you got it equal, so it is called hence ABCD is, is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. We can call uh, all the sides are equal, yes, we can call as a square also. But if it is a rectangle, then we have to convert into square because the angle at a rectangle and the angle in a square absolutely 90 and 90. It never parallelogram may be more than 90 or less than 90 or at a 90. If it is 90, we will call rectangle, not parallelogram. So parallelogram you can call as a rectangle, but next rectangle never call as a parallelogram because rectangle is 90 itself. Parallelogram not 
maybe 90, more, less than 90 or more than 90, you can go with that whatever. So what you proved here, now finally, AB is equal to BC you proved, CD is proved, every, all the sides you proved are, all are equal. Hence, ABCD is a, ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. If you want, you can take a screenshot. Hence, you have tried one step, that is, hence ABCD is a rhombus. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is the rhombus. A, B, C, D is the rhombus. Take a screenshot. You see the last question of this class? Two concentric circles. What do you mean by concentric circles? Concentric circle is nothing but passes from the same center. The circle from the one more circle, if you draw from the same center, called concentric circle. So I'm drawing one more from the same center in that direction, just simply. From this, this is a what is a, let us take this is a five centimeters. And the radius, this is a 3 centimeter. Let us take this a big radius, O, A, and uh, let us take here, B. From the draw, two concentric circles with the radius 3 centimeters and a 5 centimeters. See, this is a 5 centimeters radius. This is a. Then, the, what is the length of the curve? And also, this is tangent to a smaller circle, curd is a larger circle. Here it is the question that is two concentric circle of radius, radius 5 centimeters and 3 centimeters, then find the length of the curd of a, find the length of the curd of a larger circle and tangent to a inner circle. Smaller circle, tangent. So we have to find here the length of the Third, let us take AC. Let us take AC. So let us take, uh, let the third be, let the third of larger circle, larger circle be AC. AC. Radii. Radii of concentric circle. Concentric circle are uh, 5 centimeters and a and 3 centimeters, 5 centimeters, see here, since we know B is a point of contact, see, 90 degrees, and you can see that O, B, A is a right angle triangle, very first problem of this, today's session we completed one, O, B, A is a right angle, so from the, if it is a right angle triangle, by Pythagoras you can find, because we know all, already the two lengths, the third length we have to find, that's it. So here, let us take by, uh, since, uh, since O, B, A is right angle triangle, right angle triangle. So by, by, by Pythagoras or Pythagorean theorem, you can write whatever. So by Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse, hypotenuse is nothing but O, A. And uh, what we have to find? OB square plus AB square is equal to OA square. The square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. The square of the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That is the formula of Pythagoras. Yes, OB. What is OB? A square. AB we have to find and uh, OA find already given. That is 3 square. 3 square 9 now. Send it to this side. That is 3 square. So what happens here? 5, 5 is 25 minus 9. 3 square nothing but 9 now. 9 sent to right side. It becomes here minus 9. Then AB is equal to root of subtracting. Subtracting. So that 25 minus 9 is 16. Root 16 is absolutely positive force. Because lens never be negative. Lengths never be dimensions never be negative. So take here only the positive that is a four centimeter. But since here AC is equal to what? We have a formula that is a two of AB. 
two into eight because this is also five centimeter. This is also five since radius also three. Obviously, you will get this is four. This is also you will get four. Otherwise, formula AC is equal to twice of AB. Twice of AB. So that is nothing but here that is two into four. That is nothing but eight centimeters. Two into four. That is eight centimeters. So the length of the curve is eight centimeters, which is larger to the larger. Uh, for for the larger circuit and the tangent is just the tangent length is four. The length will be uh, tangent will be you can extend whatever it is up to you can even you can extend. This is also for tangent. AC is a tangent, BC is a tangent, and DA is a. But particularly AC is a curve because it touches secant directly. If you if it extends, this is called secant. Especially why we are calling curve. It ends at the two points. The circle ends at the two points. So AC is a curve to the larger circle. He is asking to find the length of the curve for the larger circle. The length of the curve is eight centimeters of this one. So one of the important question for the for the final examination. Maybe a two marks. Two marks nothing but for one paper, two papers. It is two marks. But nowadays for your COVID nineteen, so maybe the you will get a four mark question this is. For mark question, this is, and that's it. You may raise any doubts from the uh, first exercise or one two problems. We'll continue. The more constructions are there, so most important. So uh, whether you people have the instruments or not, I don't know. But try to uh, buy the every instruments which is related to the construction. We'll start the construction in the next class so that you can uh, have it. You can practice at home with the. With the help of that instruments. Okay, we'll see the next class with the constructions. And uh, till that, good night.